Although many will disagree, the Honda Motor Company is a living example and role model of a great automobile and motorcycle manufacturing company. From small motorcycles to exporting vehicles around the globe, the Honda Motor Company is one of, if not the best manufacturing company in history. All of this couldn't have had been possible without, his, without its founder, Soichiro Honda. Soichiro Honda was born in November 17, 1906, in a small village near Hamamatsu, Japan. His father, a blacksmith, and his mother, a weaver. He spent his early childhood helping his father with his bicycle business. At the age of 15, it was in a magazine named Bicycle World, where he saw an ad for an automotive repair shop in Tokyo. Art Shokai was one of the finest auto repair shops in Tokyo at that time. Soichiro builded up the courage to write a letter asking to become an apprentice. No one knows what he wrote, but he received a positive reply. In April 1922, Soichiro left elementary school and joined Art Shokai as an apprentice in the Yushima area of Hongo, Tokyo. All kinds of cars were brought to Art Shokai for repair making it an ideal place for Mr. Honda to work and to learn. At the age of 20, Soichiro was called up for military service, medically examined and found to be colorblind, making him ineligible to be in the military. In 1936, Soichiro Honda, wanting to do more, opened the Art Piston Ring Research Center, working at Art Shokai in the day and developing piston rings at night. Mr. Honda had a contract with Toyota Motor Company, but out of 50 piston rings he submitted for quality control, only three met the required standards. After two years of visiting universities to learn new manufacturing techniques, he was at last in a position to supply mass-produced parts to companies Toyota and Nakashima Aircraft. On December 7, 1941, Japan headed into World War II. Mr. Honda's company was placed under the control of the Ministry of Munitions. In 1942, Toyota took 40% of the company and Mr. Honda was demoted from president to senior managing director. Male employees disappeared as they were called up for military service. Air raids on Japan were increasing and eventually destroyed one of his facilities in Hamamatsu. On January 13, 1945, the Nankai earthquake struck destroying one of his other facilities. Starting again, Soichiro Honda opened up the Honda Motor Company on September 24, 1948. He explored with surplus military engines left over from the war in the small warehouse, later tweaking them and selling them for people to put them in their bicycles. When the engines ran out, he started making his own copy of the engines. They were the Honda A-Type, nicknamed Bada Bada for its sound. On October 1949, Soichiro Honda hired Takeo Fujisawa as managing director. Soichiro Honda did the making and Fujisawa did the selling. Soichiro Honda invented the first motorcycle, the D-Type, also known as the Honda Train. Boasted by the success in Japan, Honda and Fujisawa began to look for new markets. Fujisawa believed that for products to be accepted around the world, they must first be accepted in the United States. Therefore, Honda would turn their attention to America. In June 1959, the Honda Motor Company established their foothold in the United States. Armed with their best-selling motorcycles, the Dream and the new Super Cub, Honda looked to make encounters with Americans. Honda sold their products into existing American motorcycle shops and dealers. Sales skyrocketed and the Honda Motor Company continued to expand to meet the demand.
1970, a new wave of environmental activists swept across the United States. Citizens became alarmed and concerned of automobiles burning up fuel and polluting the air. In response, Congress passed the Clean Air Act. The new law set standards for automobile exhaust emissions, which was an issue for automobile manufacturers. Honda invented the CVCC engine, the first engine to meet the standards set by the U.S. Clean Air Act. After 25 years, Soichiro Honda and Takeo Fujisawa retired from the Honda Motor Company. In 1975, the Honda Civic CVCC 1500 was introduced to the market. The Civic was a giant success and soon the Honda Motor Company was selling 10,000 cars a month. On November 1, 1982, the Honda of American Manufacturing opened in Marysville, Ohio, and the first car rolled off the assembly line in 1985. Soon, Honda started exporting to Japan and other 50 countries from the U.S. American Honda exported over 100,000 automobiles in 1994. In 1986, Honda launched their luxury division of their cars, Acura. In 1989, the Honda Accord was given the title of America's best-selling automobile. From its simple beginnings, the Honda Motor Company has become a major player in the automobile industry. With its ability to develop new technology and to stay ahead of changing consumer demands, the company has displayed the innovative style that has established the Honda name all over the world. As technology advances, the Honda Motor Company continues making cars that the world wants to drive.